Hi, I'm Mitali Joshi, uh, editor of Springtime magazine. And I'm here at Rambagh uh, Polo Club, Jaipur. And um, I'll soon be joined by Vijay Shri Shaktavat, known as Diamond. I happen to be in Jaipur while the Jaipur Polo season has been going on. And she's been humble enough to take us through. Thank you for joining us. Of really course. appreciate you taking our time to explain us everything. So before we meet your host, yeah. I would like you to introduce you as a polo player and also as an individual to our viewers. Okay, um, to begin with, I, I don't really call myself a polo player. I um, still wholeheartedly know uh, that I'm a novice, that um, I'm an absolute lover of the game. In the short while that I've been acquainted with the game, it's uh, pretty much taken over my life. <laughs> um, so that's that. I sort of started playing like about two and a half, three years back. Um, the first year was not very intense as it was, you know, because the entire game requires a lot of commitment, a lot of planning. And as you know, obviously animals are in the picture. So it's an every day, every minute, 24, seven, our thing you know so that's why a lot of people say like polo is not just what happens on the field polo is so much about what happens on the field like when there's not a game you know it's the upkeep and the maintenance for your horses it's um, you know schooling them training them keeping them in good condition but also remembering to the fact that you know every now and then you got to give them a break so it's a whole lot of things what you're feeding them and they're shoeing and it's it's pretty much like taking on another child you know it's 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 quite a responsibility but it's um it's a beautiful one and uh, i mean i've been associated with uh, horses because of my dad since a very very young age uh, he was one of the first people to do safaris in rajasthan on um, the marwari breed uh, which is indigenous to rajasthan which was you know like the war horse breed of rajasthan um, but in polo we don't really use marwari horses what we use is thoroughbreds and argentines pretty much so these two are thoroughbreds now this one here is Silk, this here is Symphony. She's a much older horse, she's more matured, already tamed, she's got a lot of experience on the field already. She is just five years old, so in polo horse career, five years is when they're sort of considered like on in a training phase like they're okay. they're the babies you know okay. they're still they're not put into a very extreme game type of a situation they're okay. still in that training you still want them to reach about six seven okay. before they're really really thrown into the mix okay so there's her this guy here he's an argentine he's okay on the littler side <laughs> of things for me yeah. but he's an argentine um he's a new buy his name is sid okay. um here is uh, one of my first two he's my second horse okay um that is samrat okay um so i've got here two boys and two girls so in polo you have um mares as well as girls okay um so these two are the boys and they're the girls and a thoroughbred here and two thoroughbreds here and that's an Argentine. Um, can you explain us a little bit about dressing uh, your horse? Ah, okay, game? yeah, no, of course. So obviously that's your horse as is. Yeah. This is sort of the headpiece and I'm going to sort of um, not use many jargons that's and better, um, yeah. <laughs> you know use as layman language type yeah. of a scenario as I can so that's sort of your headpiece which essentially allows you to control your horse yeah. the reins come here yeah. this is what you call a martingale so these are the reins and essentially this is what comes onto the horse here okay. for you to hold on to so this helps you to uh, you know, tell your horse which direction you want to go in, whether you want to stop it okay. or what, whatever else. Um, these are their mouthpieces. Um, so there are different types of mouthpieces because each horse has different habits, okay. um, different uh, temperaments, etc. So some of them are a little bit severe, some of them are a lot more easy. 
yeah. um, and light. So, you know, but all of these things are pretty much tailored to each and every horse. horse. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, it sort of is like your gaddi, so to speak, <laughs> under your saddle, you know, so it doesn't hurt the horse. Yeah. This is what sort of keeps this entire seat yeah. clasped. And this is not your typical typical polo saddle um, it's customized a little bit for me because for me i would get hurt a little bit on my knees i have bony knees so i have a little extra padding here but essentially in a polo saddle you'd never really see this extra patch or padding over here um, and then you come to their feet wherein you have these this is what we call like polo bandages okay. for the horses um, this is to of course just give Give support like you give support to your tendons and muscles and things like that during game that's for that then on top of that we add these boots yeah um, you know to ensure that if during a match there's a ball that's astray or there's a stick that's coming in or anything like that okay. um, you know when the it comes in contact with the horse's leg okay they're not hurt yeah. because this part excuse me so this part of their um, feet can get hurt okay. quite easily so you don't essentially you want to have as much protective gear okay. um, for your horses as you possibly can okay. can you take us through your gears what the player actually uses while okay so i'll go top to bottom yeah so that essentially is um, a polo helmet um, we all tend to customize them to our colors and you know give meaning to our helmets and things like that or you know something like that so my uh, colors for all of my riding gear are like gray white and red and hence you can see the under peak yeah. is red the peak on top is white and the gray has my name um, and then here it's got my family's crest okay. um, so that's how I find yeah. meaning in that uh, I can tell you about our elbow guards which are which everybody also has different styles and things mine are these so these are of course for your elbows then moving on we have the knee guards okay. which come on top of our boots like that yeah. um, and then there are our polo boots and then there's our sticks and our whips okay. <laughs> whips is something we're not going to discuss too much i don't <laughs> like them okay. um, i use them as bare minimum as possible yeah. then um, something fun for you to see um, is uh, the sticks yeah. so each depending on the horse that you're riding um, the same stick okay. on pretty much every horse that right some players um, prefer to change sticks heights and things like that okay. depending on what horse they play. so you would always be able to tell that by um, the numbers written here so okay. that's a 52 that's a 53 just essentially determines the different heights okay. of okay. Um, the sticks and what you're using on which horse and we all tend to do our own little markings or colors or whatever so that's just how we make our tack our own um, yeah and you have your stick bags and your boot bags which is not not very very exciting and then of course you have gloves. gloves so that pretty much takes care of um, the gear part yeah but i think what would be more fun is if we sort of walked it's a exciting match that is actually happening and the goal that we've missed and we have a So to begin with, um, in polo you have uh, four players on each side okay. um, and you have two goal posts. As you can see there's the one that side of the field and then there's the one on this side of the field. Um, obviously the aim of the game is um, whoever has the most goals uh, wins um, and that pretty much is uh, the job to do um, as safely as possible while having as much fun as possible. Um, uh, the fun interesting thing about polo though is that in unlike most standard games after every sco uh, goal scored yeah. um, the teams switch goals okay so 
example, if uh, they've just scored a goal, like say team A has just scored a goal here. Okay. Then for the next goal, they must score it on the other side of the field. Okay. Um, there's differences in levels of fields and things like that. So it's okay. the idea is to keep it as fair okay. as possible. Um, so essentially what is happening now, if you would see, is something like a throw in, which is if the game's been stopped or a new chucker is starting, hmm. then they would throw in the ball to begin the game. Okay. Um, the rounds in polo, like round one, round two, round three, round four, yeah. is called chucker one, chucker two, chucker three, chucker four. Um, and each uh, chucker, which is also each round, is sort of uh, roughly about seven minutes. Okay. Um, and when the line man, the main man yeah. in polo, who's okay. uh, who tells us whether we're gold or not, yeah. um, when he waves it on top, it's goal. Okay. But when the flag's down low, it's either out or no goal. So okay. you don't wanna, if you've ever hit the ball yeah. that side, you don't ever wanna see the flag down low. You always, yeah. always wanna see it up there. So when you mean it's out in the sense, it's not in the goal post, or is it something or or it's out of the line at the back that you see over okay. here which is in tandem with okay. uh, the goal post yeah so that's your end line okay that's your end line um, that's like your periphery okay. so to speak MS, of course what intrigued me the most about your profile was that you are also a woman in the sport so yeah. you know um, what do you feel like what's, what's the presence of women in and do you think that it's been uh, Improving and what can be done to improve it if it hasn't been improved already? Um, so, of course, it's it's um, a, quite an intense game, um, and horsemanship has a lot of um, women in India in general. But uh, somehow, I think it's just polo has always been the guys' game, yeah. and uh, just. Not to show exactly why so many people haven't been involved because yeah. um, it's it's an absolutely thrilling and beautiful game. The association with the horses is um, amazing, and you know it's it's a great game to sort of uh, also test your born and capacity with the horse yes. on the field. But now the good thing in polo in India is that a lot of uh, girls are sort of dedicated a lot more time and energy and effort to sort of you know buy horses give more time to polo learn the game and yeah. we're all doing our best but I think um, like a lot of other sports there is um, a lot lot more scope and it would be the most amazing thing to see if uh, tomorrow we don't have to worry about putting four teams together yeah. for a you know women's tournament okay.